What is going on guys, it's Jim from Locality Boss. Welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I want to show you off my new Bolivian short tail boss. This bloodline is called the Red Bloodline and was selectively bred by Barry Miller for this pink, almost red coloration that these animals have and carry out throughout their adulthood as well, which I always think is really cool because a lot of boss, you know, get pinks and reds when they were babies and once they uh, reach adulthood, you can barely see any of that color. Uh, these guys actually keep most or a lot of that red coloration that you can see right now and they uh, also have this typical Amarale pattern, you know, very peaked saddles, uh, thick overall body build and then, you know, this tiny short tail that you can see right here. Um, uh, another characteristic that these Amarale bows have is this, you know, pitbull like head shape, you know, very uh, strong jaw muscles that these animals have, even as babies, as you can see. I hope she holds still so the camera can focus on her head a little bit, but you get the idea. And I just wanted to show you off this uh, group that I got now. Uh, as I said, I got two males and a female. And this is the female. She really expresses a lot of that red coloration. And she's different when I pull out the other animals, you're gonna see the differences. Uh, in each individual animal and I think it's really cool if you have a group of them to have you know some variety of you know looks in your group um, and yeah I'm very very fortunate to get a group of these guys and uh, I haven't seen them a lot I've seen a few people working with them in the US see them on Instagram or on Facebook uh, sometimes but this uh, bloodline is fairly hard to come by they're similar like your orange crush bloodline that also originates from Joe Terry's Bolivian imports and then, then we're selectively bred for this, you know, orange color. It's the same thing here. They just display a lot of coloration for, you know, your Bolivian short tail boas. And I'll show you the males now in a second. So this is male number one. Uh, he stood out for me because of his overall speckled look. He has this, you know, kind of dirty look, which I really enjoy. Uh, along with you know a lot of pink and red in the sides and in the belly and then I don't know if he lets me focus on the head shape a little bit and his head stamp he has a lot of freckling going on on the on the head if you can see that um, I put a picture in so you can see because he's kind of active right now but um, yeah he's he's an awesome animal uh, he also grew very well since I got him he was kind of small uh, but he's developing really nice right now and here again as you can see this is where they get the name from uh, this really short tail compared to the rest of the body which I think is very very cool and yeah this male just stood out for me because he was so different uh, most of the other animals were very clean in terms of a pattern you know barely any specklings and this guy just stood out yeah I really had to get that one uh, who is actually supposed to be a female, but I uh, sexed him again and he was a male and I, I took him anyways because I just needed to have this animal regardless of the gender. These Bolivian boas also have a very manageable size. I think the mother is around 5 to 6 feet and then the males are around 4 to 5 feet, so that's really manageable. They get this, you know, bulky body build, a little bit short and, you know, muscular, very thick bodies, but, you know, not as long as your BCCs from you know Suriname, Peru or something so very manageable and also very forgiving in my experience uh, I wouldn't compare them to your you know Central American imperators or Mexican boss or common boss in terms of you know husbandry but they're definitely more forgiving than your uh, true red tail ball constrictors so something in between uh, I wouldn't feed them too much because they're slow growing balls as you can see this is a one year old animal uh, different localities, different subspecies might grow a lot faster um, in that age, but these guys do grow slow and so I just feed them regularly every 10 days and they seem to uh, really thrive on it and um, they feed on uh, adult mice at the moment, medium to adult mice, frozen thought, no issues whatsoever. So these guys are awesome and I'll show you the last male now. All right, last but not least, this is the third animal I acquired. Uh, from the litter last year and as you can see it's completely different again different look uh, very clean in terms of pattern uh, a little bit of aberrancy on top here where he kind of has these dots 
instead of you know actual saddles but overall very clean animal lots of pinks a little bit different it's, it's really hard to put them on camera i mean i wish i could have everyone here to see them in live so you can see the actual colors but that's as good as i can do it right now i uh, hope you still get an idea of the coloration they really explode in color and i've seen the adults when i pick these guys up um, they really keep a lot of that pink, which I think is really amazing. I don't know, I'm just really glad I have these. Uh, I had to add them because I fell in love with Amaralis really after I've kept them, the first pair of them. And ever since, I really enjoy this bloodline. I put a lot of research uh, into my uh, Amarale projects. And yeah, it's, it's really a dream come true to work with these guys and with this coloration. I might add another bloodline or two. Um, to have more variation in my stock but these guys I don't know they're just so much fun to me since I got them these are these become one of my favorites uh, just because of that color and overall their temper is also really nice they hold on a little bit they're kind of squeezy uh, but uh, awesome animals and I hope you enjoy them as well uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram I'm a little bit more active on Instagram lately post a lot of reels and photos so make sure to follow me there uh, the link will be in the description also if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel uh, we just reached 500 subs we got to keep it going so please support and uh, you know share the video like comment all that good stuff and i hope i see you on the next video